Jalen Dern is out with another ankle injury, and I'm concerned for Jalen Dern's health because he's had eight ankle injuries, and he hasn't even played two full seasons in the NBA. I don't know what he has to do to heal up those ankles, whether he needs to follow the Steph Curry workout or figure out how to land like Derrick Rose. Just do something, and my biggest concern with it all is I just hope the Pistons just bring him along slowly, man. Let him get to either 100% or as close to 100% before you bring him back, man. He is a cornerstone of this team. He's a building block, and I just don't want to see him become damaged goods because he can't get over the ankle injuries. But how are you? Con- how much are you concerned with Jalen Duran's ankle issues or his health, I should say? I think before I, I did some research on this topic because I didn't know it was this much. Yeah. I, I was looking of how many games he's played, and I believe it, he said 81 career games or 80 career games, something like that. And he, he's had a couple ankle injuries this season. So I, I go on foxsports.com, and I, I want to show the people every injury Jalen Dern's had because I think once they see it, it'll be more eye-opening of all the ankle injuries that he's had since he's entered the league. So this is dating all the way back to – October 31st, 2022, ankle injury. Um, And you can go all the way up to the 7th of January, ankle injury. The only other injury that wasn't ankle was last March, and it was a cervical injury. Uh, Like you said at the the top of this topic, um, he's had nine injuries in his early NBA career, and eight of them have been ankle injuries. To me, that is a huge red flag. It's a red flag that one... He has not worn any type of ankle braces or support or even got his ankles taped up. Mm. Um, to me, like, the, like if I roll my ankle more than one time, I'm getting a brace. I'm taping it up. Like, I I don't know if you want to get into, because I got in debates last night. A lot of people's like, oh, high tops don't do anything. Um, he can switch the high tops. He's still going to roll his ankle. Um, my thing was, wear some support. Yep. Get, get some orthotics, tape it up, something. Because eight ankle injuries in your young NBA career, dude, that's a red flag. Like, with big men, you worry about their knees and their ankles. And he's had eight of them in, like, 81 career games. So, like, dude, like, we got to get him right. You can tell the difference when he's not out there on the floor. The Pistons miss him desperately. I, he's had a great season so far. Obviously, like the the first three games of the season, he looked like baby Dwight Howard out there, and then he hurt his ankle again, and he just really wasn't a hundred percent. You know, they they rest him out for like a week and a half. He comes back, seems like you know his ankle's feeling good, but like for me, I'm concerned with this ankle injury, and I, I want to see him wear some type of protection because, you know, I don't want him just playing at fifty percent and he keeps hurting it, like. Bring him back when he's 100% healthy and get some type of protection around those ankles. And I'm looking – I went back to his college stats and everything. He played all 29 games in college, no injuries. So I don't know if he was doing something different in college or they had him playing in a different role. I don't know. He started, it seems like, all 29 games as well when he was in college. I – so I don't want to just blame and point the finger at the training staff, but get tape the guy's ankles, man. Even if he doesn't want it, just make him aware of like what he's doing to his body and how it can slow him down. And then even take it a step further and say, look how much t- money you could potentially be leaving on the table with ankle injuries. You know, I mean, money that, that cures a lot of things and just point it out to him. I just hope he gets healthy and he figures out this issue because it would just be so detrimental to have to watch him on the sidelines while he's in a Pistons uniform. And then who knows, maybe eventually goes to a different organization and they figure out this issue and he just becomes a stud somewhere else. Figure it out, Detroit. Please, please figure it out for Jalen Duran. I was literally watching uh, Rasheed Wallace because he was on the Gilbert Arenas podcast and he was talking about when he was younger, he used to wear low tops. He said he sprang, sprained his ankle one time, and he said he never wore low tops again. He he wore the Air Force Ones, as you know, but, like, he had orthotics in them. But, like, 
I, I'm surprised Rashid hasn't reached out to him because, like, you know, he he worked under him in Memphis. Like, he co- I should say he coached under Jalen Dern in Memphis and, he, you know, coached him up. Like, he's got so much raw talent and potential to be such a dominant player. And, like, these ankle injuries, to me, I think they're just holding him back. And I'm just hoping, you know, it, it was only a two-week injury, thank God, because that video that Johnny Kane posted on Twitter, man, that looked painful. Like, they had to get him off the court. He was in so much pain. Like, I'm thankful that it's just a two-week injury, and maybe he'll be back at some point um, towards the end of December. But, man, like, he's got to take care of these ankles for sure. And injuries like this can get in a player's head, too, where they start playing more reserved and not going as hard as they can because out of fear that they're going to get re-hurt. So, or re-injured, I should say. Again, I hope they figure it out, though.